in some of the labs you're going to need to take screenshots and then edit those screenshots a little bit so here I have an example where I used the ls command ls minus l I did it first and then I did just plain ls where it gave a little slightly different result and then I redid ls minus l the minus l stands for long version and that's why you see more information about the file But if I wanted to take a screenshot of that I might use something like the snipping tool which will allow me to just click new and when I highlight a rectangular area that area gets saved in memory but I don't want to work with it here in the snipping tool I want to use a program called GIMP so I'm going to hit the copy button here and I'm going to open up GIMP and I'm going to say edit paste as new image so now I have an image right here in GIMP that I'm going to work with how did I get GIMP? very simply type GIMP type GIMP download into Google or any other web browser and uh, search engine and, and you'll find you can just click on go to download and you can download it and install it on your own PC meanwhile a few items about GIMP here's the color the foreground is black the background is white I could with this little button here just switch those two either way I could also click on on this and change the color to maybe red as an example now up in the upper left corner I see a rectangle and an ellipse kinda like a circle but not quite I'm gonna click on the rectangle and I'm going to uh, draw myself a highlighted rectangular section and when I release it I'm gonna then go to the edit menu and choose stroke selection currently in line with is four uh, maybe I'll make it six and I'll hit stroke now that's there I could go to the ellipse and do the same thing let me highlight this area over here which also says LS minus L and when I go to the edit menu do stroke selection I'll leave it at six for the line width and there it is the stroke just by clicking anywhere it unhighlights that now you notice I have one layer right here what I might want to do is add another layer well, maybe I'll go back to white for a color let's try that and I'm going to click on the A that's for adding text and I'm going to click right here well wait a minute uh, size 100 sounds a little bit big I think I'll I'll make that a little maybe something smaller like 70 pixels and it's on an Arial font um, I could change the font to anything I want and no I don't like that font I better choose another one okay and what I'm going to do is then I'm going to click anywhere here and I'm going to say that LS equals list you'll notice I now have two layers because there's the original image and then there's the layer of text that I've added to it what I want to do on that is go to layer and merge down and that merges me back to one layer so it's all just one image when I save it as a JPEG it will save as one layer in order to do that I'm gonna to go to file but I can't do save as I gotta go down to export as when I do export as I can save it as a JPEG so I'll give it a name like list.jpg and I'll hit the export button over here in the bottom and export again and now it's saved that file which I can then include in my report so it's just a little bit of, of using uh, highlighting and adding text to an image something you would do in GIMP